All right, guys, here we are. The day has come. It is the day where we pick up guests. So I'm after this about to go to the airport in the taxi and uh, go to the FBO. The guests are coming in by private jet and then I'll bring them back to the boat, give them a quick tour around the boat. Then we're going to throw lines and cruise our way up to Saint Tropez. It's about a seven hour passage. We should get in about 10 o'clock or so this evening and then uh, spend all day in Saint Tropez tomorrow. And then we're going to cruise up the uh, Côte d'Azur, uh, Cannes, Antibes, Nice, and then Monaco for a couple of days. And then finally back to drop off in Nice. All right, stick around guys and check out the rest of the video. Just underway to Saint Tropez, seven hour cruise and just about to put the mains down on the table. But we've got to get quick so it doesn't get cold. Here we are, first day, uh, we've got guests on board and we've just anchored up in Saint Tropez last night. So we're going to head on into the bakery and get some local uh, treats for breakfast and uh, check it out. I've never been here before, so I'm pretty excited. So let's go. Sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, Mark Tyson? King of Pigeons, babe. Bro, somebody has to do the work, eh? Shit, must just get... <laughs> Don't worry, one of Dean's followers will be like, it's the Yacht Chef, guys, it's okay. <laughs> it's absolutely unbelievable. Look at all these pastries, wow. Bro, fresh little crew treats. They're gonna be so stoked. Whoa, truffle. Bro, that Bro. thing's got four drumsticks and three thighs. Have you seen this? Oh, he's getting frisky there, my ball. Dean Harrison and the Lost Baguettes. <laughs> Secured the bag. Amateur move. Left the baguettes in the supermarket. <laughs> it happens, it happens guys. Where, wait, where are we? Okay, here we are, uh, day two. Uh, we've just spent the morning in Saint-Tropez. Uh, the guests uh, this morning had their breakfast. The chefs went ashore and got some fresh pastries. After breakfast, they uh, went down. A couple went and got massages, hung out in the spa. A few went for a swim. And then after that, we ran them ashore. They went for a walk around town, taking in the sights and the shops of Saint-Tropez. They've now come back on board. It's a little after 12, about 12.30. And uh, we're moving our way round to Pompalone Beach where the guests have lunch reservations at uh, Club Sank on Sank for this afternoon. One of the big beach clubs here in uh, Saint-Tropez, really cool spot. And uh, then after that, we'll be relocating up into the Khan Cap Antibes area this, this evening. So here we go guys, thank you very much.
Okay, cool. We've got behind us here Morio Afo. She just sold recently at the Miami Boat Show. She's a 115 meter Larson launched in 2021. Uh, she's a super cool boat. She actually just sold as the largest brokerage deal in history. She was listed at $330 million and sold quite quickly. So uh, she probably sold pretty close to that amount, which is $330 million. <laughs> wow, pretty crazy. So today we've had a pretty chill day, guests were off for dinner, they're going to Eden Rock. Um, Chef and I, we've just been prepping, catching up and making sure we've got everything ready for tomorrow and the day after. We've also been looking into the next charter, starting to plan menus, starting to get provisions in and starting to do orders. Great. Alright guys, it's day four of charter, we're going to be picking up anchor from Cap Antibes and heading around to go anchor off in Villefranche for the day. As you can hear, we've got the anchor wash on. It's time to prep the rest of the anchor for pickup. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to pick up our claw. Next, we're going to make sure the teeth are in the brake. Put her under tension. Perfect, she's under tension. Now I can put the brake on and take this off. Brake is off, and we'll start hauling anchor. All right, uh, we're gonna be picking up anchor. Copy, zero clock. Up and down, up and down, anchor's off the bottom. All right, good morning, day four. Uh, we've just picked up anchor over at uh, Cap de Antibes. We've just come around the headland and now we're heading over to Villefranche. In about 30 minutes time, the pilot's gonna arrive. The little pilot boat comes alongside us, the pilot hops over, he climbs up the ladder and then comes up to the bridge and he guides us into Villefranche where we're gonna spend the next uh, day, day and a half. Uh, we pull into the bay, we pick up a mooring ball there and we sit there. Once we arrive in Villefranche, uh, we're going to drop all the tenders in the water, all the toys in the water. We're actually going to put the ski boat in the water for the first time, give her a try. And then uh, guests are going to go ashore for lunch. And then after lunch, come back, a few more massages in the spa, hang out, and then dinner on board later this evening. Awesome. What a great day. So we're just approaching the mooring ball here on the bow. We're just coming in nice and slow. Uh, you can see the boys up forwards, the guys in the back are pulling the tender in. We've got the pilot here organizing everything. Uh, a couple of minutes, we'll be, we'll be tied up. And then uh, full speed, all the toys in the water and uh, enjoy our day here in Villefranche.
Good afternoon. Woke up this morning. It was a beautiful day. I decided to drop lines off the mooring boy in Villafranche. Uh, took a slow cruise over to Monaco. We just got here now. Easy docking. First docking with the new deck boys and it all went good. As you can see behind me, we still have all the grandstands set up from the Formula One. Might take a little walk later just to get a walk on the truck. Um, we're going to chill here for two nights and then I think we, the weather depending, we're going to head out, go have some fun for the next couple of days. Stay tuned. So, so excited. We're here in Monaco, uh, just stopping off to do a quick provision while the guests are out for a really nice lunch down the road. And um, yeah, just doing a little quick stock up. Grabbing some brownies for Shauna's birthday. Sue Chef's birthday on board. So as you can see, that was a successful provision and now we're heading back to the boats before the guests get there. Okay, good morning. It's uh, day six. Uh, beautiful day. The sun is out. It's nice and warm. We're here in Monaco Harbour still. Uh, yesterday afternoon we came in, span around, squeezed her in between the two boats here and, and docked up nicely. Last night we spent the night here. Uh, the guests went out for a dinner and uh, then came back and watched a movie on board. Today we're uh, spending most of the day here. Later this afternoon we're going to pull back out, head back out to anchor, you know, drop the toys in, go for a jet ski, go for some water sports, and then, uh, and then move on again for uh, dinner offshore uh, later this evening at a three-star Michelin restaurant in Menton. It's going to be a great one. Okay, cool. It's day seven of our charter. Uh, the guests had a really cool dinner at Mirazur last night, a three-star Michelin restaurant in uh, Menton. And we stayed there for the evening and then sailed over here this morning. As you can see, we're in Cap Ferrat, beautiful anchorage in the south of France. Uh, loads of boats, Oppos here, Orients is here. Couldn't really be better. So we'll see what happens the rest of the day. Morning everyone, we are currently at anchor between Cap Ferrat and Bellu just behind me. The guests have just gotten off board, they're going to go and have lunch at a really stunning little quintessential restaurant and explore the area whilst they're out. We're pulling up anchor, we're going to head off to Nice where the guests will meet us a little bit later and we're going to have an awesome send off barbecue on the swim platform. The crew is going to join the guests and we'll be able to reminisce about all the great experiences they've had. They've really had a fantastic trip. Lots of massages, lots of naps, a bit of water sports, and of course, exploring all this amazing area and all of the history it has to offer. Um, we're wrapping things up. Tomorrow's drop-off day. It's going to be a really busy day, but uh, stay tuned and we'll fill you in on how that all works.
Okay, so guests have just left. Uh, we put them in the Sprinter van and they're on their way now to the FBO to board the private jet and fly back to the States. Uh, today we have the ECPY Charter Show. It's a show for charter brokers in the Mediterranean here. They'll come on board, tour the yacht and hopefully book us some charters during the summer. Last night we had uh, a big crew and guest barbecue where all the crew came out, all 20 of us, along with the guests. We had a couple of beers together, had some Wagyu steaks, some burgers, some pizzas in the oven. And, uh, and it was really just a good bonding experience to, for the guests to meet the crew a little bit more personally. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, stay tuned next week as we, uh, we do film today and we do the ECPY show and you can get to meet the crew a bit more, meet the brokers and another great tour of the boat. Thank you very much for watching.